It came to me from my grandmother. Okay. It's been in her family for ever. Family legend has that it's really old. My grandmother's family was in the Baltimore area from colonial times before the revolution. If I told you that it is actually made in Pennsylvania around about 1750, that would probably fit. That would work? <laughs> it probably would. Okay, great. Well, it does. Okay. So it is a, it's a Pennsylvania table uh, made in the George II style. So in England in the 18th century, this tilt-top table was all the rage. These designs uh, migrated over to America, uh, and this table is an American version of an English uh, tilt-top table. So the table is actually made of mahogany, and it's very nice quality mahogany. The top has been refinished. The surface is uneven. Okay. There's a mechanism on the back. I will just tilt. So it's a tilt-top table here. Mm -hmm. And on the back here, we can also see it's a clear indication it's been refinished. The rail color is original, and then you have this really light color where it's been uh, the sort of shadow we call of the top of the table and then the rest of the top of the table is just a little bit darker from oxidization so you have the three color variations okay. when we talk about the shadow we're talking about as the table sits closed all of the time it's reflective of the block here against the top so there's very little oxidization so the color is generally the lightest color so it leaves this sort of shadow yeah. of where it was Okay. There are some really nice touches to it though. Originally we actually thought that the screw hole here, there wasn't a corresponding screw hole on the table, so we thought, okay, maybe the top's replaced. Actually, if you look closely, it's slipped slightly below the horizon, so it's actually because the top has shrunk. That's part of And we the... can see this uh, screw head has actually been dragged down. Right. These balusters here okay. should actually match or come close to the baluster on this of the table and okay. I talked to some of my colleagues and we kind of felt comfortable with the fact that they didn't line up all that well. Okay. Lovely carved standard and tripod base. Now one thing that you probably couldn't figure out why all the legs look different is because yeah. the feet on this don't belong there. That's what I, that's, that has been a question. I have seen some that didn't have the feet. They'd call this a snake leg with a pad foot and that's been added. Put on sometime in the Victorian times, probably around about 1880, just to jazz up the table. <laughs> okay. Just to really make it a little more interesting. And you could actually just take them off okay. if you wanted to. Now comes to the value. Okay. So with American furniture, more than many other categories, um, condition, condition, condition. Right. We know the table has been restored. If I were to see this come up for auction, I would expect a value of around about $1,500 to $2,500. Okay. Okay. Well... That's, that's good to know. If right. the top was not refinished uh -huh. and the table were in great shape, it would be around about $4,000 to $6,000. So that gives you a sense of the disparity in value. Yeah. My dad told me once one of the feet was coming loose when he was a kid. He was worried it would get lost, so he made sure to put it back on. 